And welcome to another exciting episode of the Super Fantastic Exchange. My name is Gary. Guys, I can't tell you how excited I am to bring to you someone that was referred to me from somebody that I truly look up to. And so when I received this name from this incredible person, I said, I have to have this individual, this leader on my show. And sure enough, I was lucky enough to get none other than Latrice Leak. You guys give it up for Latrice. Hey, can you hear your fan club clapping for you? Yes. <laughs> Latrice, thank you so much for joining us this uh, this day on the show here. And I want to give you a chance to introduce yourself a little bit more about who you are and what you do. Absolutely. I'm Latrice Leak. I am a thought leader. I am an influencer. I am a... Um, I'm a mom. I am. I work for the best company in the whole wide world. And you saw, like, when, when we first got on, Gary and I, he saw my, you know, that I, you know, work for Mission Rock. And so I'm always chanting about Mission Rock. But I am just a blessed woman who has had a life that has influenced um, some very powerful revelation. And, um, while it hasn't always been beautiful, I really feel like the lessons that I've learned over time have been, it's been like a crown or almost like a pearl to the sand mm -hmm. in my, my clams, <laughs> you know, yeah. like when life gives you sand, like you make pearls out of it, you know? And so that's, that's who I am. That's who I am. Oh my gosh. I love your, your vision of yourself and what the, you know, what you bring to the world as opposed to what you're expecting from the world. And I love that you are, I can just tell you're a very generous person because you give of yourself to help other people. And your vision of yourself is extremely powerful. And I, and I love that. And before we get into the questions, I just want to mention something that I was, I was able to see Latrice's vision board. Now, a lot of us, when you see vision boards, you think of like a piece of paper and you cut out magazine articles or pictures or whatever, and you put it on the, the paper. Latrice has done something extremely unique that I'm, 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 I'm impressed with. She has her vision board on her desktop background, and it's so impressive, and, and it is such an inspiring idea. Uh, to have it front and center. So every time you jump on your computer, it's right there inspiring you uh, to do the things that you see yourself doing in the future and, and possibly the people that are inspiring you. And so Latrice, I, I just have to applaud you for, for being so creative and inspiring to do something like that. And I just wanted to share that with everybody. But Latrice, you are one of those leaders out there that are inspiring people. And I've always loved to connect with these incredible leaders and peek behind the curtain and see what inspires them. And so I reached out to you, asked you, I said, like, hey, hey, share with me a couple of things that inspire you. And you shared three incredible things with me. And so I want to get to the first one here is you are inspired by people who make the world a better place. So share with us what that means and how those people who are making the world a better place inspire you. Um, I really, it's so funny. I remember watching this movie back in the day. It was like called The Five People You Meet in Heaven. Mm. And um, the movie is all about when you get to heaven, um, it's not what we think it is. You like meet people that you have interacted with over the course of your life. And you don't even really know like why they're the five, but somehow we're all connected. And I really believe that um, our creator has made us all unique, but connected. And every every dot connects to everyone. And so when we are able to um, look at disparity or world hunger or an issue that doesn't necessarily impact our household, mm -hmm. um, but still feel compassion and empathy, that means that we are connected, one, to our source, and two to the others that you know he has linked us to somehow and so i feel like those that are those that are compassionate and world changers and they get out into the world to make things happen mm -hmm. they're the ones that are most connected to the source and so yeah wow i can see that i mean it truly is i mean when you see people doing things that are inspiring other people or connecting other people and like you said compassion i love that word that you shared it's such a such a powerful word I think we all need a lot more compassion in our lives and 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 being generous with the compassion is is such a valuable thing and and i love 
that that inspires you. And I imagine that you do the same thing uh, when you're out and about. Yeah. It's, but it's funny because um, I was watching this thing on YouTube and it's a, a video called Depraved Indifference. Mm. And it talks about how we have a surface level of understanding, like as Americans, for a set, per se. Um, you know, we have a surface level understanding of hunger. Our hunger experience a lot of times is, oh, I'm in the drive through Like, I wish they hurry up. I'm so hungry. <laughs> right. But if you look at, you know, other countries, you know, mm-hmm. that may, you know, really have like, l- like a, a lack of food or real mm-hmm food issue problem in their country um there's a difference and there's almost like we can't quite connect to it it's like my internet connection like my i remember um one day i was driving and my five-year-old was like my internet's not working and i'm like (laughs) what i like like when i was five like i had to walk to school in the snow like your internet connection that's nothing and so like we have this we're blessed Mm -hmm. but a lot of times we don't quite understand like the depth of you know the world challenges and yeah. so you know we really have to have that compassion so that we can connect because it, it may not really be my experience I remember uh you know when I first started out in ministry because I'm in ministry as well I would do all these homeless events and someone was like you're so passionate have you ever been homeless and I'm like no I've never been homeless but when you have like the father's heart when you have the the heart of the father you know what father doesn't want his children fed yeah so i may not be able to cure home homelessness but i can definitely bring you some bread and soup there you go and you do your part i mean all of us it doesn't have we don't have to change the world we just have to do our part and i love that the people that are doing their part through transformational encounters sharing some bread and soup or encouraging somebody or inspiring somebody um, and understanding the perspective that we have in our our own lives is our perspective but there's there's a myriad of different perspectives out there that we have to be compassionate with as well Um, and understand that's our purpose is just to help and love others I Mm -hmm. So good. So good. Latrice, you also shared something with me, another uh, point that inspires you. And I connect with this one as a, as a father, but your son inspires you. Now, I know we were talking a little bit about it earlier, but tell us how your son inspires you. So my son, oh, he is in <laughs> look. Maybe we should have saved this one for last. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I get emotional talking about him, but he is absolutely my inspiration. When I was about 17 years old, I went into the doctor's office. I was gaining weight. I had different challenges in my health. And I'm like, what's going on? And the doctor's like, oh, you have PCOS. You'll never have kids. My doctor was an old grumpy man. Um, and I lived my whole life from 17 up to 36 thinking I will never have kids and the funny part is as a young girl I always said I want children I want children I knew innately I was birthed to be a mother and so it was like there goes that dream and so you know when I had my son like as a single mom Mm -hmm. um I got pregnant out of wedlock in the church I had so many challenges I hid my pregnancy I literally did not tell anybody really until like after he was birthed and I didn't show until like nine months it was weird like eight nine months is when I started popping out there so long story short raising my son alone and um you know he started I started noticing different like things with his speech and he has speech delay and he has um you know we're kind of like going through Kennedy Krieger which is a world-renowned hospital to see what other type of challenges that he's dealing with and so he he goes through a lot of therapy and while I yes have to take lunch breaks and run him to therapy and take him back to school he is so resilient when I say this little boy can go from like hours of assessments and, you know, people say this, now say it again, now say it, you say it, pronounce it pr- properly. And he is so resilient and like he will go into those meetings. And I know sometimes like, have you ever been like a meeting in a meeting for business and you're like at the end, you're like, oh, Exhausted. I'm taking off. He's like, <laughs> let's go get nuggets after those meetings. He's like, let's go uh, play the Sonic song in the car. Like he is so resilient. And so he inspires me to take those challenges head on and like know that a bad day is not a bad life. Hmm. You know, sometimes we're like, I had a bad day. My life sucks. You know, we get in our right. little 
we start yeah. turning inwardly and get that you know gray cloud over our head but mm -hmm. you know he always reminds me that a bad day is not a bad life you know oh even gosh. if i'm sad like you know kids are so compassionate like he'll walk up to me like mommy don't be sad and i'm sad for him you know sometimes i'm sad because he's picked on or you know people say different things that can be very hurtful but yeah it rolls off his back like water on a duck <laughs> oh my gosh that is so brilliant and i love yes. and i think we truly can learn so much from kids and i think because there's such a such an open perspective yes. in their world so i mean and I love a bad day doesn't equate to a bad life. It's just yeah. a moment and you move on. And and I love, you know, even with my kids, you know, they may have a bad moment, but you know, five minutes later, they're out running around having a great time and it's all good. <laughs> exactly. And I think, and I love that you learn from that because a lot of times in our experiences, we have that bad experience or that bad moment and we carry it with us. Mm -hmm. And we allow that bad experience to to bring us down, to impact us and eventually impact other people because now we're sharing that bad experience. But your son, who is such a great teacher of going through all these things and yet five minutes later, let's go grab nuggets. <laughs> Love nuggets. <laughs> hey, like we should just all do that. If we're having a bad moment, let's just say, hey, you know what? Let's go grab nuggets. <laughs> I love that. That that's that's our new calling card, man. Bad day, go grab nuggets. <laughs> Latrice, that's fantastic. So the third thing that you shared with me, and I I really like this one. Um, you're inspired by some specific individuals, and you you have a list. You shared a list with me. One of them is Tabitha Brown. We have Brene Brown, which I, I've read a couple of her books. Absolutely amazing. Oprah. Simon Sinek. Um, I've read a few of his books. So these are some great people and, and they're also on your vision board that I mentioned earlier. So what is it about these individuals, Tabitha Brown, Brene Brown, Oprah and Simon Sinek that, that truly inspire you? I am stimulated by brilliance. I Ooh. am, uh, I am stimulated by brilliance. I am stimulated by people who have longer arms that reach out you know and so i love how each one of them in their own unique way like tabitha brown may be making a vegan dish and mm -hmm. even though i'm not vegan like i really like steak and potatoes i can vibe with her because she's all about empowering us to do better with our bodies and mm -hmm. oprah you know with empowering us to you know think outside of the box simon Sinek, he's such an incredible um teacher on leadership Right. You know, Brene Brown. I mean, what? I call right? her auntie Brene Brown because <laughs> <laughs> she, I mean, just even her teaching on empathy and mm -hmm. vulnerability, like there's so much that they bring to, again, the world. Yeah. And so I love each and every one of them for different reasons, mm -hmm. but they're on my goal board because I really want to meet them one day. And so maybe I'll send them the link to this interview, like when I get a chance to meet them and say, I said that I would meet you guys. Right. And it's been on my vision board. <laughs> And that's fantastic. And if you never, if you never put that out there saying, Hey, here's my goal. I, I would love to meet these individuals or I want to have this kind of goal. And I love one of your goals. Are you okay with me sharing about the, the Ted talk? Yes. I knew you were going to say that. <laughs> How cool is that? But the thing is, if you never put that out there, if you never think, speak or act your goal, your vision, then it's never going to happen. And, and I love and, and I just want to go back to a little bit to, you know, what you talked about, Tabitha Brown and, and Brene Brown and Simon Sinek and Oprah. I love that you have the awareness that these individuals have something that you can learn from. And I and one of the things you said about their extended reach to inspire people I, it's such is so neat to see your awareness of this and, and, and learn from these individuals that you're constantly learning and, and attempting to grow um from that it it's inspiring that's pretty cool thank you i'm in, look i'm in learning and development so everything is a learning experience from me i learn from nature i learn mm -hmm. from children i learn i just love uh, learning in any place any capacity that i can so yeah yeah and and that that skill that you have of learning in any capacity that's going to take you a long ways and you'll just continue to you're just going to continue to grow 
I, yeah, I believe it. I'm, I'm speaking it here, right here, right now. You're going to meet some or all of these individuals and you're going to continue to grow your career trajectory just wow, I beyond that. what you ever believed. I'm believing Thank that and I'm speaking it out for you. So, Thank you. Latrice, this has been so much fun talking to you. I love your heart for just being inspired and, and having awareness to understand perspective and, and learning from any and everywhere, whether it's your son or some other established leaders, inspiring people, you're just, you're very open to that, to, to, to learn and grow. And I believe that is what makes a, a wonderful, inspiring leader is that you have that awareness. So congratulations for that. Thanks, Latrice, Gary. before we wrap up, cause we're getting close to the end of our time, I want to give you a chance to share a closing thought. Sure. So I was thinking about what is my closing thought? Cause it's gotta be, <laughs> it's gotta be epic. Right. And so I was thinking about this, your life. Those are, those of you that are watching mm -hmm. Gary's fans, those of you that are sitting here watching this interview, life has handed you a hand, right? You're not the dealer. You're just the player. You get to play the game. Right. And you may be looking at your hand and saying, ah, oh, man, this hand sucks. <laughs> this hand. <laughs> There's no way I'm going to win with this hand. But in most games, most card games, there's always an opportunity to draw again. And I want you to understand that life is not necessarily what is dealt to you or what is handed mm -hmm. to you. It's all about you understanding that you can reach the, into the deck and pull again. And the, the, the card that you pull from life, the, the, the mindset that you pull, the... The, being optimistic, whatever you pull from life could be the very reason why you win. And so I want to see you win. I want you to understand that no matter where you came from, I grew up in the, when I say the hood, Gary, I grew up in the projects. <laughs> and so I worked very hard to overcome the, the challenges and even the statistics, because mm -hmm. when you're born in a certain zip code, there are statistics assigned to your life. Yeah. There, th those cards, that hand. Yeah. But it didn't matter because I knew that I was going to get an opportunity to pull from the deck. And so I want you to pull from the deck and oh win. My God, Latrice, that that sounds like a TED talk right there. That would get an incredible. <laughs> I will I will buy a ticket to that TED talk when you, when Thank that one's you. ready. Thank Absolutely. You. I'll I will be first, send you an invite. <laughs> there you go. I'll be one of the first ones in line. So, guys, keep playing the game. Draw from the deck. Don't just sit with the hand that was dealt. Latrice wisdom beyond guys make sure you follow latrice on linkedin she's got some great stuff she posts on there um so make sure you're following her because i promise you i'm speaking it here right here right now it's amazing things gonna be coming from latrice in the near future so watch out for that i promise you that guys thank you so much for joining us today on the super fantastic exchange guys go check out latrice on linkedin watch out and we'll see you on the next dope so thank you so much